Okay, as we can see, the wall surface has not been disturbed for an awfully long time. Uh, we can see the evidence of uh, salts on the surface and on the wallpaper. We can do this test using uh, the wallpaper itself, or we can actually take the underlying plaster. Um, what we're going to be doing here is a scrape of the actual plaster itself. We need enough to fill a, a teaspoon, basically. So the plaster is actually fairly solid, but we can see the salts coming out. And all we're looking to do is determine if the uh, salts contain the salts that may be from groundwater. So we're just chipping off the surface there, and that's plenty for us to be getting on with. Right, so in the previous videos you saw us take some salt samples uh, or some surface finish samples from the property that we were looking at there, the target property. What we're now going to be doing is we're going to be testing for nitrates and chlorides. This doesn't tell us that it's rising damp, but what this will tell us is that the water that we're testing, the salts have been left there, have actually been in contact with the soil. So we either know there is going to be a rising damp issue or it's actually going to be a penetrating damp issue at low level, which is much more likely. Uh, in the case of this property, we know that we're probably going to be getting a positive reading because the soil levels externally were very high. So this will tell us that it's actually it's, it's low level penetrating damp, but it will have touched soil. So the next part of the video, you'll just see is actually putting together the soil, the salts tests. We normally do this on site, but um, for the sake of ease and, and doing a video, we've actually done them back, uh, back here at the office. Okay, so we, we're going to be sampling a five square centimetre piece of wallpaper that was taken from the chimney breast that you saw in the earlier videos. Uh, this is the green wallpaper that you can see currently in the larger vial here on my left hand side. Uh, this has got 60 millilitres of uh, deionized water in this one currently. Uh, we shook it for about 40 seconds just to help the sample transfer into the actual mo into the uh, deionized water around it. Then, nice and simply, we will be uh, pouring 10 millilitres off the top of this into the secondary vial here marked 10cc. Okay, so thanks for watching uh, our video so far. The final part suggests to us that the larger vial marked 60cc on the left hand side is showing a yellow colour which basically tells us that there is um, uh, chlorides present in that sample. So that would suggest to us that this water uh, that has been evaporating from the surface finishes has actually touched uh, the soil at some point in its journey. Also, the smaller var mark 10cc, which is on your right-hand side, uh, that's that cherry red colour. So this is almost a quantitative test. We can actually see, uh, if it was brown, that would tell us that there's traces of nitrates present. But as it's that cherry red colour, that tells us that they're present in significant quantities, which again points us in the direction to think that actually this water has touched the soil at some point in its journey. So we don't think that the damage here is actually as a result of water coming down the chimney stack. We feel the damage here is actually as a result of water penetrating through uh, because we know there's high ground levels outside. But by the same token, there's also going to be an issue potentially with salts um, actually coming through the chimney breast uh, from previous combustions. But this is an aid to diagnosis, not the be-all and end-all.